so hello everyone so today we are going to discuss your fmge cbt one paper pathology questions okay so let's see the questions number one question which of the following subtype of breast cancer has the best prognosis so we know i have four molecular subtypes luminal a so i have four molecular subtypes luminal a luminal b her2 enriched and the last one is tnbc tnbc which is also called as basal type okay so luminal a is actually your er positive pr positive her2 negative and proliferation index ki67 less than 14% if i talk about luminal b it is er positive <coughs> pr positive and her2 positive her2 enriched as the name itself is suggesting you her2 enriched is er negative pr negative and her2 positive tnbc triple negative breast cancer so all three are going to be negative er negative pr negative and her2 negative and please remember that luminal a has the best prognosis out of all and tnbc has the or the basal if tnbc is not an option sometimes basal is given it has the worst prognosis out of all okay so if i go and look at the option the question is asking me best prognosis and yes my correct answer is going to be option b that is luminal a has the best prognosis <coughs> okay now moving ahead with my second question hemodialysis associated with amyloid pattern so question can ask you hemodialysis or it can be asked like amyloid pattern with patient of chronic renal failure so in that case my answer is going to be option c a beta 2 microglobulin okay but if i look at the rest of the option al is going to be my amyloid pattern seen in multiple myeloma multiple myeloma attr if it is a normal attr it is seen in senile systemic amyloidosis if this is a mutant attr it is seen in familial amyloidotic polyneuropathy and a beta is seen in alzheimer's disease okay now moving ahead to my question number 3 which of the following is not a cause of skid severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome which is not a cause so yes il2 is a cause ada is also a cause jak3 is also a cause which is not a cause nadph oxidase is not a cause because nadph oxidase defect you see in patients of chronic granulomatous disease theek okay? hai so nadph oxidase is not a cause of skid all rest abc options are a cause <coughs> sorry because it is seen in cgd moving with my next question a middle aged lady presents with abdominal pain okay and diarrhea her intestinal biopsy demonstrated okay villus atrophy and serum has presence of anti ttg antibodies which of the following is most likely diagnosis in her so i see villus atrophy anti ttg antibody so basically the question is describing me a characteristic case of celiac disease right it is a gluten sensitive enteropathy and in gluten sensitive celiac disease you are going to have villus atrophy and you are going to have three very important antibodies which i remember by the mnemonic get anti gliadin antibodies anti endomycial antibodies and anti 
TTG antibodies which have been given to you in the question. So that means my correct answer is going to be option B, celiac sprue. The correct answer is option B here. Okay. Now, moving ahead. A 50 year old man having a testicular swelling undergoes orchidectomy which on further evaluation <coughs> has oct4 plus tissue most likely diagnosis the characteristic ihc marker i always say oct34 positive nanog positive these are the important markers for seminoma so the correct answer is option c seminoma these are the characteristic IHC markers that you have to remember. Now, moving ahead. Next question. A man working in construction building site for long periods presented with dyspnea. Construction building presented with dyspnea. Characteristic points. His chest x-ray is suggestive of tuberculosis. Which of the following is most probable diagnosis? So, construction building worker more chances in fact having tb this is classically my silicosis because silicosis patient they have a high risk of tb and if a patient has tb and silicosis together the patient is referred to as silicotuberculosis so the correct answer is going to be silicosis here next next question a nine year old child develops sore throat and Couple of weeks after he has edema and passage of cola color urine. Which of the following most likely fits in the description provided? So basically I see cola colored urine. So I know that this is a nephritic syndrome. So that straight away cuts option A and option B because both are nephrotic syndrome. Now I am left with option C and option D because both are nephritic syndrome. Now two things are classically telling me Number one, age, nine year, child and the cola colored urine is developing couple of weeks after. So, child and a latent period of approximately two to four weeks for hematuria to develop. This is classically a feature of PSGN because for IgN nephropathy, number one, it has to be an adult. Number two, there should be a latent period of minimum of two days for the hematuria to happen. So, latent period is less and age is going to be mostly an adult. And in this particular scenario, a child with couple of weeks, nephritic, that is going to be PSGN. Next question. Which of the following molecules are required for loose, this word is important, for loose adhesion of leukocyte to the vascular endothelial cells in acute inflammation? So, for rolling, and loose adhesion, I need selectins. I need selectins, right? PCAM1 is going to be an important molecule for diapedesis. E cadrin, you know, it is for down regulation of E cadrin for metastasis because E cadrin is for cell to cell interaction. Leukotrienes, you know, these are the mediators of inflammation. So, here the exact correct one which is suiting my question is selectins for rolling and weak adhesion. Next question. So, they have given you a karyotype and the diagnosis is being asked. So, if I closely look at the karyotype, yes, I can see that there is trisomy 18. I have three copies of chromosome 18 and trisomy 18 is called as what? Yes, option D, Edward syndrome. Turner syndrome, what is this? This is monosomy X. Down syndrome is trisomy 21 and patau is trisomy 13 okay now moving ahead an old man <coughs> underwent a bone marrow examination which revealed the presence of finding as shown in the image what is the likely diagnosis of the affected individual okay very classic if i see here if i look here what is this finding the finding given to you is what? This is a characteristic mort cell. 
this is a characteristic mod cell grape like clusters mod cell i am seeing here and mod cell this is a feature of what yes the answer is option c multiple myeloma so the image is showing your mod cell which is grape like clusters characteristic feature of multiple myeloma <coughs> for sickle cell disease you will see a peripheral smear showing your sickle shaped cells of sickle cell rbc for aml you can see myeloblast you can see our rod right for all you will see lymphoblast but here i am seeing a mod cell classically matches multiple myeloma next question a patient died of myocardial infarction his heart was taken out and immersed in a solution <coughs> sorry the normal area of the heart turned brick red okay the normal area heart turned brick red whereas the infarcted portion remained white which of the following can be the likely component of the solution yes this is a classical stain that we use for mi heart where my normal areas are red and the infarcted areas are pale why they are pale because of the extra cellular ldh because of the extracellular ldh my infarcted areas are completely pale and with stain basically i'm talking right now i'm talking about ttc stain triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride stain yes i can see this in my option so my correct answer is option d ttc triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride now if i talk about ethanol ethanol is used as a fixative right ethanol used as a fixative for light microscopy glutaraldehyde as a fixative for electron microscopy okay ethanol is used as fixative for pap smearing glutaraldehyde for electron microscopy and formulin for light microscopy these are the important fixatives that you have to remember another important pyq for all of you right next a 25 year old male came with complaints of neurological deficits examination shows <coughs> pallor her peripheral smear is given below what is the most likely diagnosis okay i can see the peripheral smear and yes i can classically make out what are these yes these are my hyper segmented neutrophils these are hyper segmented neutrophils hyper segmented neutrophils are a feature of megaloblastic anemia so this rules out my a and b but i'm stuck between c and d because megaloblastic anemia can be because of the folate deficiency or can be because of the vitamin b12 deficiency but the question is classically saying neurological deficits which is a feature of b12 deficiency and not folate deficiency so correct answer is going to be option d here moving ahead which of the following is seen in patient of zero derma pigmentosum we all know zero derma pigmentosum is a dna repair mechanism defect which one my nucleotide excision repair defect so correct answer is option d and these zero derma pigmentosum people they have a risk of developing skin cancers in future what are the rest of the dna repair mechanism homologous recombination and mismatch repair they are giving some uh, also defects yes so if my homologous recombination repair is defected i can have fankeny anemia bloom syndrome ataxia telangiectasia dna repair mechanism mismatch repair mechanism defect can lead to hnpcc also called as lynch syndrome okay now <coughs> moving ahead a 42 year old female presents with development of seizures for which a ct guided biopsy was done seizure development ct guided biopsy was done histopathology shows oh right nice some oma bodies what is the likely diagnosis i always tell this in my class this is a universal rule that you have to follow that some oma bodies are always seen in those tumors number 1 which have papillary in the name number 2 which have serous in the name and number 3 brain tumor meningioma yes brain tumor meningioma so correct answer is going to be option a if i <coughs> 
if i talk about rest microscopy histopathology in medulloblastoma you are going to see homer right rosettes in pilocytic astrocytoma particularly if i talk about pilocytic astrocytoma shows very important rosanthal fibers on microscopic examination glioblastoma shows very important serpiginous necrosis serpiginous necrosis and pseudo palisading pattern okay <coughs> so these are the important findings next question hepatic angiosarcoma is associated with which of the following classical yes arsenic thorotrast vinyl chloride apart from arsenic remember thorotrast thorotrast and vinyl chloride all three are responsible for hepatic angiosarcoma so correct answer is option c here last sodium fluoride additive is used in which color cap so sodium fluoride is basically done is basically used in gray vial is basically used in gray option b for what for sugar estimation for sugar estimation but if i talk about the blue one blue contains what it contains citrate blue contains citrate for coagulation studies purple purple or lavender contains edta for cbc <coughs> red for serum studies right so this is all i wish you all the best thank you so much